Now that I'm in weight and maintenance, I have a lot of time to sit back and really reflect on my past weight loss attempts. While I was doing some intentional reflection, I thought about a piece of advice that I was given long before weight loss surgery that I kind of wish I had taken more seriously sooner. It's actually such a good piece of advice and I think that as a bariatric patient, I've been successful because essentially, this advice that I heard a long, long time ago is what I'm doing now. Now that doesn't mean that this advice only applies to bariatric patients. I think this is great weight loss advice for anybody who's trying to lose some excess weight and get their mindset around food right. And I promise you, this piece of advice is not only going to help you eat better, but it is gonna really, really improve your mindset about the entire process of weight loss. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I have been sharing my weight loss journey here on YouTube since April of 2020. I had a weight loss surgical procedure called vertical sleeve gastrectomy or VSG for short in August of 2022. Over the entire course of my weight loss journey, I have lost over 120 pounds and I continue to share all of the things that I've learned along the way. And that includes the struggles, the wins, and everything in between. If I seem like somebody that you'd like to learn from, why don't you go ahead and hit that little subscribe button now. It really does help the channel a lot. And I also wanna take a moment to thank all of my returning subscribers. I really appreciate the support of the channel and me. The piece of weight loss advice that I am about to share with you, in my opinion, is the single best weight loss advice that there is. I honestly wish I had taken this more to heart and taken it more seriously a lot sooner. It is a complete flip of the script of that whole narrative that diet culture has kind of ingrained in us. That advice is when you're trying to lose weight, think about the things that you can add to your daily life instead of the things that you have to take away, eliminate, or restrict. Really think about that for a second. What if we told ourselves that I'm going to add this, this, and this to my entire day and this is going to help me improve my health instead of telling ourselves, I've got to cut out this, I've got to cut out that, I'm doing too much this, I've got to eliminate this and this and this and the other thing. That's a complete 180 from everything we have been taught about dieting and weight loss for years and years and years. I'm so happy to see more coaches, influencers, and people with a social following also sharing this advice, which is why I wanted to make this video about it today. Just thinking about all of the different diets that I have done over the years, it was things like, you can't eat carbs, you can't eat fruit, you can't eat sugar, you can't, you can't, you can't. Don't do this, don't do that. Restrict all the junk food, only eat meat, only eat this, only eat that for X amount of days during this time of the day. We've been so preoccupied with the bad habits that we didn't take a step back and think positively about all the amazing things we could add to our life if we just stopped restricting ourselves so much. We really haven't given healthy habits the time of day that they rightfully deserve, and that's a damn shame. I think it's far past time that we give ourselves the ability and the permission to live life without all of these restrictions constantly in our minds. Let's start giving ourselves permission to do more instead of shaming ourselves into elimination and taking away things from ourselves and restricting to the point where we're going insane. And the coolest thing about this piece of advice is that you can start doing it right away. All you need to do is pick one or two things that you want to do more of to support your weight loss and health goals. And you can start small. It does not have to be anything crazy at all. Here's a couple of examples. You could try to add more protein to your regular meals and make it a tasty one that you like. Think chicken, beef, pork, fish, or shrimp. 
Greek yogurt, aim for at least 20 grams of protein per meal. Again, this is something you're adding to your meal. You're adding more protein. You're giving yourself permission to eat more protein. There's a million and one benefits to adding more protein to your day, but probably the top two that I can think of off the top of my head are, one, you're gonna feel way more full and satisfied, and two, you're gonna support muscle growth. Here's another really simple one. Add more movement to your day. Now this doesn't have to be crazy. I'm not telling you to go to the gym and start, you know, lifting weights and doing all this on day one. Just add five or 10 minutes of gentle walking into your day. Just a little bit. It doesn't have to be crazy. Just add more. Don't even worry about things like intensity or anything like that. Just think about doing more, more intentional movement of your body. It's gonna make you feel good overall anyway. Another really super easy one, add more fruits and vegetables to your plate. Fruits and vegetables are loaded with fiber. Again, these are things that are gonna help you feel full and are gonna support your weight loss goals. And adding in all that extra nutrients and fiber is gonna make you just feel so much more satisfied and so much better, just generally speaking. By changing the narrative from eliminating and restricting to adding and giving, we're automatically going to feel more positive and encouraged. I know when I was suffering with binge eating disorder, the more that I restricted myself, the more likely I was going to binge. In fact, that constant, constant, constant restricting is what often led me down my path of shame, restriction, binging. Shame, restriction, binging over and over again. And it really did cause a lot of problems for me. Had I taken this advice a little bit more seriously and a lot sooner, I may have gotten more control over my BED sooner in the process. Now I'm always looking for ways to add healthy habits into my day. What more can I do to support my success? Right now, I want you to just take a second and think of one or two things that you could add into your daily life that would support your goals. I don't care how big or how small the thing is that you want to add, just think of it and start doing it. It's really very easy. Even if it's just a little five minute walk here and there, or even just one five minute walk, that would be fine too. Think of something small that you can add that's gonna support your weight loss goals. And if you're feeling brave and you wanna share, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, leave me a red heart emoji. And just so you know, a good way to hold yourself accountable is to actually put that little thing that you're gonna add into my comments section. I'll be cheering you on for sure. On your way down to the comments, be sure to gently tap that thumbs up button. Give the video a like. It really does help a lot and I appreciate it. You should also be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.